concept is the first stage of the game development process. It is also a game design document. This document contains fundamental aspects of the game design, such as general idea, how to entertain players. In current case, also, what is the serious aspect of your game? By the end of this presentation, you know how to create a game concept document. Game concept as a game design document is usually a short paper, one or two pages, that covers, that provides answers to following questions. What is the main game idea? What is the player's role and goals in this game? What are the main challenges a player can face and actions a player can take? What is the genre of the game? Who is the target audience? Who are the players? On what hardware platform this game will run? What is the interaction model of the game? How player will see the game world? What are the new aspects? How this game will look? Some images about the game world. How this game is different from others? What are the unique selling points? How to reach to users? How to disseminate the game? What is the marketing strategy? Also, what are the technical limitations? After agreeing those aspects, it is recommended not to change the game concept during the later game design stages. Concept, concept is like a design plan on what everything else depends. Changing this document in the middle of the process means that you start from the beginning again. Now, let's have a closer look to some of the game concept details. Game idea description is a short essence about the game. It contains the main game idea, the general goal of the game, short description of the player can achieve the goal, game progression, and additional ideas for levels and story, if the game has levels and story. Game concept presents details about what are the entertaining aspects of the game and what are the serious objectives of the game. Challenges and actions. In order to make the game manageable or the game goal achievable, the bigger game object objective will be divided between sub goals, also called as challenges. Actions are the activities the player has to take in order to overcome those challenges. Challenges and actions together shape the game interaction, also known as gameplay. In the bigger games, challenges can be organized into a different gameplay modes. For example, in a rally game, you can have a turning, turning mode and racing mode. Different modes have different challenges. In a smaller game, you just have one mode. No matter how big or small is your game, there is no game without challenges. In the game concept, you are expecting to describe what are the main challenges of your game and what are the typical actions. Depending on what type of challenges your game will have, the game genre can be defined. Most common game genres are action games, including shooters, platformers, fighting games, 
fast puzzles, music and rhythm games, strategy games, real-time or turn-based, role-playing games, sports games, vehicle simulators, construction and management simulators, adventure games, artificial life games, puzzle games, or combinations of previously listed ones. Specifying the game genre helps you, your audience, to understand what kind of game you have in mind. It also helps you to choose between typical challenges. For example, action games are related mostly with the physical challenges, like speed and accuracy, and economical challenges like collecting ammunition and first aid packages. And usually action games are not related with logical reasoning. Adventure games, for example, are mostly related with explorational challenges, like obstacles, doctors, and solving puzzles. Adventure games usually are not related with physical challenges. Who is your target audience and how to reach to them? This influences design of the other game aspects like the nature of the game interaction, difficulty of the challenge, aesthetics of the game, delivery platform, and so on. Aspects that may influence your game design. What type of challenges players prefer? Half of the gamers play action games, but is it suitable genre for your serious game? What is their gaming experience? Are they hardcore or casual players? For example, hardcore players like difficult challenges, but if the game is too hard for casual players, they stop playing. What is the age of your target group? What are the appropriate art style and activities for this age group? Or is your game for players with special needs? What kind of game controls should be used to make it possible to handle people with disabilities? Or what are the cultural preferences or differences? Based on modern game studies, there is no significant differences between boys or girls, men or women, when they play games. Game design depends on what hardware platform the final product will use. It depends on what input and output devices the player can have for interacting with the game how far the player is from the screen, how sensitive are the game controls. For example, aiming and shooting in TV console or in PC game are totally different experience. Also making a game for a different platform can be different experience. It's easier to make PC games because it is an open platform and has a lot of computing power. Half of the players prefer smartphone games, but making a mobile game is not that simple task. Also, the simulation channel can be considered while choosing the technical platform. Web games are easiest to distribute, but they have limited performance. How the player can interact with each other or with the game environment? Is it a single player game where the player interacts only with the game world? Or multiplayer game where two or more players interact with each other and with the game? At the same time, interaction can be based on competition or on collaboration or team-based. 
collaboration inside of the team and competition between them. How the player will see the game content? Is it two-dimensional or three-dimensional? Can the player see the game world through their eyes or can they see their avatar? Is the game world top-down, from side or from isometric view? Is the screen scrollable or not? Game world design is a time-consuming task, but it would be nice to present some preliminary information and sketches how the game will look. For example, what is the physical surrounding of the game world? Artwork or the aesthetics of the game? What art style will be used? What is the cultural context of the game? What kind of emotions the art style should, should generate? From the design perspective, there is no point to make a game that already exists. What is the unique aspect of your game, also known as USB or unique selling points? Unfortunately, a lot of similar games exist. What are the similar games and how your game will be different? Every game designer dreams to see gamers playing their game. Making games is easy compared to distributing and selling them. During this course, we don't have time to plan marketing and dissemination strategies. So maybe this is the last time when we ask you to think how to reach to your users. What dissemination channels you can use? Maybe selection of the game hardware platform can support this. What distribution strategies you can implement? Maybe this can influence the design of the game content. Ideally, the technology should be selected based on the design needs. Real world is not ideal. Sometimes developers or customers have requirements that are based on their preferences. For example, game development platform can be preset. What are the limitations of the selected game development platform? What kind of technology is available for players? and how much time and skills you have. Finally, some recommendations for beginners for designing a first game. Make it 2D because creating 3D objects is more complex and time consuming. Use first person view when you don't need to design anything for the avatar or for the main character. Create single-player game. Multiplayer games are more complex to make. No open world. Closed structures are easier to create. Make it for PC because they have more development tools suitable for any competence levels. And fail fast. Make your first game small. Don't spend too much time for making it. Learn from your mistakes and try again.